Parshas Kudai. This is a shear adapted from the Shurim of Moran Hagoin Repenach Leibowitz, Zechat Sadek Lubracha. It says at the beginning of Parshas Kudai that Betzalel did everything he did the teaching and the construction of the Mishkan he did everything um, that Hashem commanded Moshe The question is, Tzawel did what Hashem commanded Moshe. Why doesn't it say, but Tzawel did whatever Moshe commanded him? But Tzawel did whatever Moshe commanded him, but it doesn't say that. It says, but Tzawel did whatever Hashem commanded Moshe. So Rashi and Chazal all say that there were certain things that that Betzalel, when he heard the laws of the construction of the Mishkan, understood he had questions on it and he understood that Moshe Rabbeinu must have omitted certain things from him and the way he understood it the way B'Tzawel understood it it was really the way Hashem taught it to Moshe Moshe somehow omitted teaching B'Tzalel exactly what he heard from Hashem. But when I, when, when B'Tzalel listened to Moshe, he understood that there was something lacking, and the way B'Tzalel understood it was really the way Hashem explained it to Moshe. Filu Devorim Shaloi Rashi at the beginning of Bakute, A Filu Devorim Shaloi Omaloi Rabbi, even things that his Rebbe Moshe did not explain to him, his schema daitai Lamash and Nema Lamashem Bissinai, Misinai, Bissinai. The way he, but Saul understood it was really the way Hashem taught it to Moshe. The question is, Moshe Rabbeinu comes down from Har Sinai. Hashem had just taught Moshe the laws of the construction of the Mishkan. He just came down from Har Sinai, from Mount Sinai. And he teaches the laws to B'tzalel. Shouldn't there be a psychological barrier in B'tzalel's mind not to think one iota, one iota beyond what, what Moshe is teaching him? Look at this. Look at this scenario. Look at this sight. Hashem Moshe Rabbeinu comes down from Har Sinai. Hashem had just taught him the laws of the construction of the Mishkan, and he's listening attentively to understand what is what is what Moshe Rabbeinu is saying. All of is, is is listening uh, with full attention, and shouldn't there be a psychological barrier 
I, I, I want to, Hashem, Moshe Rabbeinu just heard it from Hashem, and he's teaching it to me. Shouldn't there be something saying that whatever Moshe Rabbeinu is saying, that's the truth? To question Moshe Rabbeinu and, and, to, and to, to question Moshe Rabbeinu that, that he must have omitted something, how, does that, how is that to be understood? But it seems from the Yefei Toar, one of the commentaries on on the on the on the Chazal, he he seems to say like this that that even though there should be a barrier, but there's something that can pierce through that barrier. By toiling in Torah, by oh, by by Betzalel's toiling in Torah, and 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 trying to understand what Moshe Rabbeinu said, that power of toiling in Torah, Mevus by Torah, that pierced through, that even pierced through that barrier. Because when a person learns Torah with 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 all his energy and with all his might, and he tries to understand, he can accomplish so much, so much. Even where logically, he shouldn't be able to pierce through such a barrier, and he heard even beyond what is already said. The Musar Haskel, the Musar from this is that we have so many opportunities to learn Torah. And the opportunities are so great that we could hear a Moshe Rabbeinu coming down from Hashem teaching him. And logically speaking, there should be no way to think beyond what his Rebbe is teaching. Nevertheless, through toiling in Torah and exerting effort in Torah, he's able to, the opportunities are so great that one can, one can pierce through what his Rebbe said and, and, and even though, logically speaking, there should be a barrier not, 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 being, not being able to pierce through, but through learning Torah with toiling and exerting effort, one can accomplish so much as if he was standing there together with Moshe at Maimed Har Sinai. How much opportunities we have to grow in, in the depth of Torah. We should be zeichet to this. Amen. We amen.